Welcome to Science Lab. Today we're going to work with unknown substances. Let's call them A, B, C, and D. We will do different tests on each substance and record what we see on our data sheet. After we finish testing all of the substances, I will mix two of them together and you will test the mixture to tell me what they are. So let's get started. Okay, so welcome to Science Lab. The name of this lab is called Unknown Substances. So today we're going to take a look at some different substances and try to guess what they are. But let's take a look at the PowerPoint first and see what the vocabulary is for today. Okay, so the vocabulary words, you have a sheet on your desk along with these, but these are some of the things that we're going to be working with in English. This is alcohol. We're going to use alcohol in a, in a lamp for heat. We're going to use the alcohol lamp, although I will demonstrate that and do most of that. We're going to use stirrers. They're like for coffee, you know, but we're going to use them for science. And we're going to use iodine. You know iodine? It's on your sheet, the translation on your uh, data sheet on the back, two sides. And then we're going to use vinegar or acid. Vinegar is a mild acid, but any acid we could use. Vinegar is easy to get. And safety goggles are important for some parts of uh, the fire part because the heat can maybe cause some popping. And tongs for the fire. We don't want to use our hands. And hand lens. We're going to take a close look with a hand lens. Microscopes would be cool, but hand lens is going to work. And we're going to use a tray to do our work on. And eyedropper. An eyedropper. We've used these before. And beaker. We've used beakers before. You have two different size beakers. The larger beaker, 250 milliliter beaker, has vinegar or acid. The smaller one has iodine. And this is an important word here, contaminate. We don't want to contaminate the substances or the liquids, vinegar and iodine mixed together. We don't want to do that, so we have to be careful. That's why you have four different stirrers and four different powders. We'll call the unknown substances A, B, C, and D. You can see we have A, B, C, and D. So we have a stirrer for each one so we don't contaminate. We put on the tray. You, When you put them on the tray, remember which one is which. <laughs> Okay, so I like to go A, B, and C here, not here. Or if I, oh, I forgot, which one? So it just kind of help each other remember, okay? So you don't uh, forget which is which. And that's just a, a setup of the entire lab when I have students working. And there's the substances, the stirrers, and the heat test. And this is your data sheet. This is where we'll record our information. So we'll write the substances here, A, B, C, and D. And there's an extra blank on the bottom that says mixture. So when we finish all of our testing, I'm going to give you a bag mixed with two. What we're going to do for the testing is we're going to take the substances like I said, in order A, and put one scoop in a corner. And you can test A first if you want, because we're going to test A two times. The first, well, actually three. The first time, we're going to look at it with a hand lens and see what we, if there's any details. 
Let's put B on there and compare A to B. So I'm going to put B in a corner and might as well do all four. C and D. So I have all four substances there and I want to, they're all white. So they look the same. So on my data sheet, when I write down hand lens A, B, C, D, what do I see? White, same, same, same. But are there any little differences that you can find? I want you to go do that now. A, B, C, D, put on your tray. However you want to do it, you have to do a few different tests, so don't use all of your power on, on one test. You can use any section you'd like of your tray. <laughs> Can you see any differences? We'll share information and help each other. Okay. Substance A with canvas is triangle, with iodine is yellow. Very good. Go. Substance B with hand lens is square, with iodine is yellow. Very good. That's correct. Okay, let's take a look at A. We have A, hand lens. Anybody have a word for A? What does A look like? Is it smooth? No. No, it's not smooth, so we could say rough. Yeah. Rough. Which one? <laughs> Okay, so English is difficult. Let me go center. So it's not smooth, yeah? Let's go lighter. How about uh, this word? Crystal. Maybe crystal is a better word, yeah? Crystal. And B, probably the same. I think B is crystal too. And C and D are both smooth. I think. You can, you can come up with other words, it's okay. Something that you can remember from this. Okay, so how about, how about, uh, now what we'll do, it's crystal, crystal, A and B, there's a little tiny difference. Anybody want to guess? A is, uh, A is bigger than B. A is bigger than B, yes. I, I, I think the shape, if you look with the hand lens, you'll see the shape of B is a cube, and the shape of 
A is irregular, not a cube. Maybe a little bit of a cube, a broken cube, but I think you'll saw, if you really take a good look, you can see a difference. Okay, next test. Next test. We're going to do vinegar or acid test. And so for the vinegar and acid test, we're going to take the bigger beaker, the 250 milliliter beaker, and we're going to put a few drops on A and watch carefully what happens. One. It turned a little darker maybe yellow. Go ahead and try A. The bigger beaker, not the little one, the big beaker. The big beaker is acid or vinegar. Go ahead and let's write down, I think, kind of yellowish. It's kind of yellow. It, it's not white anymore, right? It's not white. Gray or yellowish. Yeah? All right, let's try vinegar on B. Vinegar on B. No change. It's kind of the same, yeah? So I think, let's write yellow on B. Now let's try C. What happened? Now let's try C. Anything? About C. Bubbles, yes. So color, color same. A little bit yellow. Okay, so you can write yellow and bubbles. I like bubbles. That's a good. It's the only one that bubbles. All right, now, next, what we have to do, we can't contaminate the acid and the iodine. Well, let me finish right in here. Let's say yellow and bubbles. And let's say uh, yellow for D, I think. So the only one that's different is C. Yeah, the only one that's different is C. For hand lens, the only one that's different is maybe B, that's crystal, that's a cube. But this one's kinda, it's kinda hard to say. All right, so now let's go to the iodine test. You need new powder, A, B, C, D, and then do the same again with the iodine. And a little beaker. <laughs> Color. Okay, white, not yellow. Okay, white, yes. Right, you're right. Okay. Uh, 
Any difference? Yes. Which one? D. D. What happened to D? Purple. Purple. Or? Bubble. Maybe bubble. Maybe yes, maybe no. All right, so purple or black? Black. Dark purple. All right, so uh, iodine for A was white. Really no change. White, really no change. White, really no change. And purple, or black. Maybe uh, the if the iodine is stronger, it would be black, but not uh, so. Maybe older, it can be purple. Okay, so we have the tests here. So the significant one, I think, is this. This one, it's clearly the bubbles. This one, it's clearly the black or purple. And now the heat test. And the heat test, I'm just going to do, um, rather than all of us do it, uh, I'm just going to demonstrate the heat test. And what we do, uh, we do um, just to save time so we can do some other things. So what I'm going to do is take and not test all the substances. I'll just tell you ahead of time, B, C, and D, there's really no change. So I'm gonna take a packet and put A in there because A is the fun one. And maybe you can tell from a distance. Okay, I'm going to take the tongs and some aluminum foil, and I have A, and I'm going to hold it over the flame and kind of check it out. Smoky. Okay, I'll take a look. And a little more. And I'll show, show you. Little brown, black. <laughs> Bubbly. Mm -hmm. Smell good. Smell good. Oh, good observation. <laughs> So you can write that down for A. Smells good. So you can write down for A, heat, black, brown, Bubbles. And the others, 
really nothing, nothing, nothing. So I don't want to use the fire too much, but I want to show that there is a difference and depending on the age of the students, uh, we can use this stuff. Okay, so we'll say brown, black, if we burn it, bubbles. You probably couldn't see the bubbles, but when it's over the fire, bubbling, and smells good. So all of that, a lot for A, and really no change, no change, no change. But this one, B, might pop, might pop, P-O-P. -P. So please write those on your sheets. Salt. salt, yes. A is sugar, B is salt, and because it's a perfect cube. And, and sometimes you can see that. Under the heat test, when it's, um, we're real careful, it can pop, like popcorn. Um, and C, anybody know what C is? Baking soda. baking soda, yeah, because it bubbles. Everybody knows vinegar and baking soda, what that does, or any acid and baking soda. And D, how about D? Love. Love. Flour, good guess, but it's, it's something babies like. Cornstarch. So, so, um, what I'm going to do is take this cornstarch, and if you take your D bag and rub it like this, take your D bag and just pinch it, what does it feel like? So I'm going to take D. You don't have to do, put it on your hands, but you can even, you can even feel it through the bag. But the reason I'm going to put it on my hands, because, oh, nice and smooth. I don't want to put salt on my hands. I want to put D on my hands, D, because it makes it easier to put these on. Yeah? Have you ever had your hands wet and tried to put these on? Impossible. So. I want to show you one more. Here, what I'm going to do, this is hydrogen peroxide. You know what hydrogen peroxide is? Um, uh, beauty shops use it to color hair. They use 3%. Uh, I'm sorry, they use 6%. You can buy 3% in a store. But 6% beauty shop, twice as strong for the hair. This is science, hydrogen peroxide. It's 35%, very strong. So what I'm gonna do is put some of this in here and then what we're going to do is hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. It has one extra oxygen, other it'd be water, otherwise it'd be water. So over time, the one oxygen wants to go out, and then it'll become water over time. So we're gonna help it get out fast. And to see that, I'm gonna pour some soap in here, because soap will make it bubble when it comes out, and we can see it. So I kinda of wanna mix that a little bit. Okay, and let's see, I want to, let's add a little color. Okay. 
Okay. And one more. Plus two, I would have gone blue. And now we're going to speed up the reaction with what we call a catalyst. And yeast are yeast uh, works well, but I have a little something else here that works. It's called, there's a number of different ones. This is potassium iodide. So let's take a look. And what this does. Oh, 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 oops. <laughs> I guess it works. So that's just hot, soapy water because the one oxygen has left very fast, and this is a catalyst that helped it go fast. Um, the only danger is, is that it gets hot. It's very hot. So, um, we call this experiment like elephant toothpaste. It's a very popular science chemical reaction field. Okay, the last thing you want to do is homework, but you can do it now if we have time, we don't have time, is your worksheet. But you can do that um, later, no problem. All right, because you have another class to go to. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. What a mess. Look at it. I almost stayed inside all of it. Just a little bit outside. I was lucky. <laughs> Sometimes it shoots to the ceiling. Wow. Tell me all the special substances and uh, characteristics. Substance A is triangle. And it is brown, yellow, black, bubble, and smells good. Substance B is square. Substance C vinegar is white and has bubbles. Substance D iodine is purple and black. Very good. Can I see your paper? Let me see. Now, tomorrow, will you be able to tell if I mix two powders together? <laughs> Can you do the testing and tell me what everything is inside? Yes. Cool. We'll try and see tomorrow. What are the two substances? The two substances is C and D. Why? How do you know? Because the iodine is black. No. The vinegar is bubble. Very good. You're right. All right. I want you to pour it fast. Go. Fast. Back up. Whoa. Don't touch. Okay, test number four. This time using a smaller, narrower, graduated cylinder. And the potassium iodide has been left out for about two hours. So let's see how this reaction occurs. little different. The soap and the color mix differently along the edges because of the narrowness of the graduated cylinder. I think the flask is probably the best one to use, but fun to see this one.